All right, this is show number 45. <sighs> I'm going to go through another PowerPoint that Yah has been working on all night. This, he is just getting deeper and deeper with the information that is recorded within his creation. Those of you who have been following for some time are already blown away by just how it is that he has not only created this universe that we live in, but now that he's in his flesh body on the earth and he has to reveal it for all mankind who have been seriously devoured by the enemy of their souls. So while I've been tweeting away like mad and the uh, apostolic letter is being read, now it's, it's getting up to triple figures. <laughs> you know, three reads for every one minute that I'm tweeting. So, Yar is uh, he's here and he'll interject. We'll do it this way. But Now, this is truly amazing. Chuka's video that he's released recently, Chuka Films, mm -hmm. <laughs> the trailer for The Captain's Salvation. He, of course, took the photograph once again that I took while we're in Hergada, Egypt, last year wearing our white robes and I, I made him put the uh, prayer shawl over his head for the authentic Jesus look and look what Chuka has done and Yah has done comparing it to the Shroud of Turin. Now of course it, it's the Shroud that is on the left, the photograph on the right so they've been transposed over each other. The shroud is the image of the old man. It's the soul of Yahweh that was in Jesus all of the time. So he referred himself as the son of God, but he was in fact God. It's a little bit difficult to refer to yourself <laughs> in the first person so he says it was it was easier just to refer to himself as the son of God but it was in fact the soul of God poured himself into a flesh body conceived immaculately within the womb of Mary because the father cannot have a father he is the father of all look at these pictures it's really only the day that wives can understand it yes they couldn't understand the times of Jesus time no he spoke all things in parable and he used the third person a lot just to try to get through to the masses who struggled as it was. And today they're struggling for a different reason. Today they've been completely consumed by religious fervor and stupidity. the stupidity, yes, and the scripts that everybody is reading. He, the word of God is, is the dude. It's the, it's the mouth talking to you speaking the words of God, walking around in his flesh body, two legs. It's not the book, which is what the Bible means. It's the book. It's not the book. The book is a trap, and it can only take the Christ to reveal it to everybody. So let's move along. The star of Bethlehem was a conjunction with Venus aligning with Jupiter over Bethlehem at 8 a.m. on June the 17th, 2 B.C. This is the birthday as Jesus. M42 is the brilliant pink nebula in the belt of Orion. It was not seen by Galileo on January the 7th, 1610. He gave his telescope to a French lawyer, Nicolas de Parsac, who discovered M42 on November the 26th, 1610, only to see it momentarily and then vanish. M42 is 16 light years wide and 1600 light years wide, but in 30 years, astronomers are saying it is 1300 light years away so I saw it in 1997 with the naked eye the constellation was one third across the sky yet today Orion is about a hand width with the arms stretched out it is written that the heavens will dissolve away in 2014 we have been taking videos of two stars changing colors from blue to green the other red to blue to green M42 is missing and stars vanish as we watch them. 
2 Peter 3.10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. The stars, therefore, must be specific with continued accuracy with the second coming when I was reborn into Sydney, Australia, on January 11, 1944. By determining the position of the sun for Bethlehem on June the 17th, 2 BC, and measure from it to my rebirth location, it does. Now, it's interesting interjecting here. Adam, last night, when we said, well, what is he on about now, came downstairs and he found, he was looking at a YouTube video and it, there was an advertisement across it for Nibiru and it was showing the fire in the heavens and this trail. And he was going, what, 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 what's going on? Because he realized that the advertisers have millions of dollars to spend on advertising. It costs a fortune to advertise on YouTube. It's their new market. So they're paying a fortune as they do for TV, etc., so, who, But it was an advertisement for Nibiru shooting across the sky. And what amazed him was it's the first time he has seen it and the realisation somebody's paying big bucks, like big corporations, governments, whatever, and it's happening at the same time that I, am, I have become a Twitter head and tweeting the news that the Christ has returned and announced. You rushed up and said, it's happening, Bridge. So, that's the life of Christ. <laughs> So, here we are talking about the heavens dissolving and the fire in heaven. It's happening, Reg, it's happening. (laughs) All right, so the sun location on June the 17th, 2 BC, placed the sun at 26 degrees 46 north by 88.8 east. Of course it did. 888 is the Jesus number in Greek geometria. Measuring from my birth location, it is at a heading of 312.72 degrees. 312 is my name, of course. Brian Lennigan, Marshall. 3127, feminine of 3126, a sprout, tender branch, young, twig. What was I talking about just minutes ago? Sprouting. <laughs> Brian Lennigan, Lightly Marshall, the English gemma tree is 312, 3127, a sprout, branch, young twig. Job 7, for there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease, just like celery. <laughs> yeah. now, Job is an essay. Or yes. Was an essay. yes. Still is an essay. Yes. Right. Yeah. Though the... He lived with us, as a matter of fact, at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has great patience. <laughs> Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet though the scent of yet through the scent of water it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth wasteth away, yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? Speaking about water, that's what I was reading to you about the celery re sprouting in place and in water. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, uh, Pierre's share this morning. <laughs> All right. As the waters fail from the sea and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not. Till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake nor be raised out of their sleep. Oh, that thou wouldst hide me in the grave, that thou wouldst keep me secret until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldst appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? Question. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come.
come. Thou shalt call, and I will answer thee. Thou wilt have a desire to the work of thy hands. So this is all about reincarnation. Mm, absolutely. Job as an Essene. But notice the, uh, the distance to the sun is 1521. That's very important. And then you've got 417. That is, of course, uh, Genesis 417. And uh, it is Genesis 417 that should be good prophet. Yes. That's, that's, they're trying to steal. The counterfeit. Right, because the base of the pyramid is 36524.24 and uh, the 365 number is the years that uh, Enoch was when he ascended. When he was taken so out. they look at that and say, ah, this is our Enoch. Well, mm. they've created another Enoch. Mm. Right? It's the false line of Patriarch, 49 7. Mm. So I'll continue reading this to get through because uh, for those not watching the video, the sun position at the moment, Jupiter and Venus align. So this is June 17th, 2 BC. The birthday is Jesus. The latitude of the sun was 23.46 degrees north by 88.8 degrees east. Now, it um, was at a distance of 15214174840809 kilometers. And then you've got 51212 is to lead into the rivet of paradise, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, here it is. Greek 1521 from 1519 and 71 to introduce literally was to lead into, and Hebrew is Gishon, a river of paradise, Gihon. Clearly, yes? The latitude is 23, uh, 46, and that is uh, suffering great tribulation and trouble. Yes. So from then on. The earth has been. Mm. Absolutely. Clearly it is telling us that Jesus will reincarnate the sun position from my rebirth location at a heading of 312, which is the number of his name. Here it is again. It's showing the uh, location of the sun. Uh, it's on the border of India and uh, to its left, I think it's Pakistan, is it? <clears throat> and then on to China. So it's right on that border uh, to my birth location. Okay, rebirth location. So the heading above was from my rebirth home which is 105 Rothschild North Shore. Oh, what am I talking Rothschild Avenue. I haven't even had a mocker this morning. <laughs> Perhaps that's the problem. Rebirth location, 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. So that tells you who your beast is right there. Yes, so. born into the pit of hell. Yeah. So the heading 312.69 degrees is from the maternity ward that you were reborn into. Hebrew 3243, a sucker, hence a twig of a tree felled and sprouting, a tender plant. Here we go, all over, all over again. The cedar tree represents royalty. Cut off the tree roots, it will grow a new tree, just like the celery. Or a fallen tree lay on the ground and from its side sprouts many trees. It is light and elastic, known for its Tenacity. It's like the uh, vines of grapes. Mm. You take a twig, plant it, it'll grow a complete tree. Yes. Same thing. Yeah. Isaiah 53 1. Who hath believed our report? Now, this is the trouble today. Mm. Who hath believed our report? One man. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The, the leader of the world believed it. That was Benedict. Benedict. In his humility. He's above the queen. That's right. It goes back to 1215. Mm. Swore fealty. Mm. That's right, May 13th. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground, he hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. 
But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. We, all we like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. And this was what I was was going through my mind as I was taken back to the cross. Remember when I gave well, birth tell to... Tell the story about that. When I was giving birth to Adam in uh, Richmond Hospital in BC, Canada, throughout the, the labour, it was a great labour, I walked around most of the time, but when it came to pushing, I pushed three times and each time I was taken out of my body. I left my body and I was standing at the foot of the cross... And I could see the blood and the gore, the agony of it all. But going through my mind was exactly this, Isaiah 53. Now that happened at the apex, the the climax of each contraction. And then as the contraction eased, I was back in my body and I'm thinking, oh my, I'm still here. And then it would come again three times at the critical height of the contraction, I was out of my body and at the foot of the cross. And Isaiah 53 going through my mind. And that's uh, when I found Yar, I could tell him things that nobody else on the planet has known because the the world is uh, reading the Shroud of Turin backwards. They believe that the spear went into the right side. That's what the Catholic Church has been but it wasn't, it was the left side. And it was, uh, the blood and the gore was horrifying. I, I cannot watch any kind of violence today. I have to turn away, close my eyes, shut my ears. I cannot watch anything of blood and gore. I've always been like that. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall, see the tra- he shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Of course, that's, re- that's seeing today. You, you see the result of the travail of your soul. It's all about today. Isaiah 1, first and second coming. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. So the distance to the sun, June 17th, 2 BC, and to the moon... The distance to the sun, I've already repeated, and to the moon, it's 401415 kilometres, or in Earth radii, 62.9. 4014 is to remove all around, that is, unveil. In miles, it is 249427, and we see in Greek, is 2492, which is Eobi of Hebrew origin, 347, and is Job, a patriarch, Job. And the longitude is? The longitude, 8, 8.80, of course, is Jesus. 
So Hebrew, it is to recover from a dream. Here is the slide with the latitude, longitude and the distance to the sun. Okay, you measure these uh, planets. <clears throat> so you're measuring the moon over the position of the Earth. Well, if you take a laser beam and you take the centre of the moon and you fire it to the centre of the Earth, where it, that laser beam would pass through the surface of the Earth is the latitude and longitude of it. Right. So you do the same thing with the sun, whether it be on the sun is either on the dark side or the or the night side. Right. Or the um, sun daylight side. Do the same thing. You're taking a ray of light from the sun, directly from the centre of the sun to the centre of the earth, and where it enters into the earth's surface, that is the latitude and longitude of it. It's quite simple. Right. Now this measurement is the, the mer mo position of the moon over the earth, 5455.6 nautical miles to your rebirth location mm -hmm. in Sydney, Australia, heading F92.02. Now that's the height of the pyramid in inches. Up to Mission Capstone, right? 5455 inches. Yes. Now, this here is Travone Road, Padstow, Cornwall, measuring the moon location 7170.0 nautical miles. 717 in Greek is Armageddon. Okay, now explain what Cornwall is. Well, Cornwall is the um, where the family home, the Christ family home, was right. and right. it parallels in this life with the family home, the Christ's family home. His parents were Seven Travone Street, Padstow, Sydney, Australia. And then the distance between the two locations across the oceans is one zero two no one zero seven seven two point five nautical miles or, or miles, isn't it? Just miles. And that number is the but Number. it's the address, the same address? Yeah, it's the same Cornwall. address in, in both lives. It's, it's 7 Travone Road. That's right. Padstow, Cornwall. Yeah, and then, then the, the diagonal of the completed pyramid with the capstone in place is 10772.5 feet. And the age difference between the, the beheading of that's right. the first and my birth. It's the same number. This marvellous synchronicity. It's all about the numbers. Here it is. There's the five five the uh, four sorry the five four five five inches which is four fifty four point six feet rounded. This is the height, of, the height the of the pyramid up to up the to summit the platform. Now this is measuring from the pyramid. 3550.7 miles. So this is all on June the 17th, 2 BC. This is all back to the rebirth location of the Christ in this life. This is how God measures his temple and proves all things. From the sun, day side, the distance to the pyramid on that date in time, so June to 17th, 2 BC, is 5713 kilometres. 5713, feminine of 5707, is sense, testimony, testimony, witness. And that's what the pyramid is. Mm. It's the witness, witness the to the Lord, who he is in his second coming. 3083 nautical miles leads to Matthew 20, 28 and Mark 10, 45, quoting, Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Now, ransom is the number 3083 in the Greek dictionary from 3089. Something to loose with, a redemption price, ransom, or figuratively, atonement. You see, the, the ransom now is for the people today. Now, they've got a choice. You can get your act together. We you here. We talked about the flood in the days of Noah. Mm. Knowledge would be increased, blah, yes. blah, blah. And that's exactly what you have today. And I can assure you, you either get in line, do it my way, or you're dead meat. That's simple. Carry on. 
So this is the sun position, yeah. June 17th, 2 BC. It's uh, darker. It's actually right on the border there. Yes. The, uh, I had difficulty getting it to the exact position. For some reason, I couldn't do it. So it's, it's out a little bit. So if you see the, the borderline coming down between India and what's that bang? Darker. No, no, darker. This, this here is darker. All right. Um, where it's coming down, it's right on the border. It's dead on the border. Right. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, this is your rebirth date, January. Yeah. Well, it, UTC time, it's still... What I, what I have to do with that particular program is uh, set it on the Greenwich Mean Time. Um, the program is not sophisticated to give you the actual uh, precise timing. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you want to get Australia, Sydney, you have to go GMT plus 10. So that's why it reads there... Um, UTC. UTC. At 2.21 p.m. Well, exactly 2.22. 2.22, yeah. Another yeah. thing with that particular program, it tends to want to creep. Yes. Every time you go out of it and come back into it, it's moved a minute. Mm. It's very annoying. So it can be a trap. So I've had to keep on uh, winding it back to that uh, adjusted point. And you'll see that the, the, the distance is uh, 1471 Four three one seven. Well, the four three one seven is Michael the Archangel. Yeah, it's one four seven one one four three one seven. That's right. So, it's so the last, that's the last four digits. Right. So that's the distance to the sun. Now the last four digits is more important than the first four. Yes. Because that could be there for a, a, two or three weeks. The so first four. Yes, that's right. So it's but the that one there th moves by the minute. Yes. So at two twenty two in the morning, it is bloody specific. Yeah. Right. Michael the Archangel. Now, that's why I've got 11 of my relatives all got Michael, Michael. and Michelle's. <laughs> like, they're very imaginative people. Yes. What are you going to call your son? Michael. Well, what's your, what's your name, Dad? Uh, Reginald Michael. Oh, I'll call him Michael Reginald. Good <laughs> idea. Right? And then, what's your father's name? Ronald. What's your second name? Michael. Okay, what's your son's going to be called? Michael Ronald. And your grandson? How about Michael Reginald Ronald? <laughs> And then you've got right. Michelle's. Then you've got the daughter, <laughs> Michelle. And Michael married a Michelle, right? And then you've got my sister. It's Dean Michael, her son, right? And her daughter married a Michael. Right? And, <laughs> and I've got an uncle, Michael. And, and in my drive to find you on the earth, one of the keys was that... Because uh, Michael means who is like the Lord. So it's Michael is like the Lord. Oh. And, it, yeah, got... And... Uh, I didn't. I was not released by my angels until I arrived at that. The conclusion was Michael, who is like the Lord, is on the earth. Uh, that was this was uh, the year before I found you. Well, it is in the Bible. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Mm. The second coming of the Lord. Yeah. So, next one. There it is as a close up. It's got four three one seven point six nine kilometers, or the whole number is one four seven one one four three one seven point six nine kilometers. Very very specific. And the six nine is my second name. It's also Jehovah's. We've got Michael, Jehovah, yeah, right, and the Rock. Now the moon over Australia on January the eleventh, nineteen forty four. So the rebirth date of the Christ. The map shows GMT London at January the tenth. Time was 14.22 as Australia's GMT plus 10 hours. So it was 2.22 a.m. on the 11th of January in Sydney, Australia. So here we've got the moon distance, 401.510.39 kilometres, so it's 401.510 Now, from the moon location, its latitude of 20.38 north and its longitude of 148.16 east to my rebirth maternity ward is 3754, which means a garden or vineyard, vines, an increase of the vineyard, vintage. And 3755 is vine dresser. To my rebirth home is 3757, at which place... That is where 
wherein, whither and whithersoever. <laughs> in nautical miles, it is 3260, but the Strong's Concordance has 99 words removed between 3203 and 3302. Therefore, we can only read 326. So 326 from 303 and 2198 is to recover life, to be alive again, revive. And I have to throw in here a hello. <laughs> the evidence, the evidence, facts, logic, reason, intelligence, not airy, fairy, religious fervor. From the night side, that is the sun opposite the earth, the location is 23.46 south and 91.21 west. And this measures 4849, rather 5849, to my rebirth home. And that number is to encircle for attack or protection, especially to crown, compass, crown. And the distance, 10838 kilometres, is 1083 in Greek, 1083, which is Matthew 1, 18, quoting, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Luke 1, 14, And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice, at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. So the number 1083 from 1080 is nativity, birth, and it's saying that today he neither have strength... Have you ever seen me have a drink? You have the occasional light beer. Wine nor strong drink? No. We are Essene. Measuring from the day side of the sun to the night side of the sun position over the Earth's surface is 1079.7 nautical miles. Heading is 255.39 degrees. 2553 from the same as 2552 to undergo hardship, be afflicted, endure afflictions, hardness, suffer trouble. trouble. That number, 2553 from 2535, is found in Job 30, 28. Quoting, I went mourning without the sun. Mourning as in lamenting. I stood up and I cried in the congregation. Sun in the Hebrew Dictionary, 2535, from heat, by implication, the sun, heat, sun. 1079 is genete, a femina of a presumed derivative of the base of 1074, which means birth. The distance to Jupiter from the sun on June the 17th, so this is the Ju Jesus' birthday we're going back to, to BC at 8 a.m. was 6.071 astronomical units and Venus was 0.659 astronomical units. When you add the two together, it's 6.73 AU. 673 is Ephrathi, patriol from 672, an Ephrathite, another name for Bethlehem, found once in Psalms 132 was seven. Where Bethlehem was happening. Yes, exactly. Bethlehem is, means Ephraim. So 659, probably meaning to breathe. Psalms 132, verse 6. Lo, we heard of it at Ephrata, which is Bethlehem. We found it in the fields of the wood. Number seven, we will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Verse 8, Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Number 9, Let thy priests be clothed 
with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. 10. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. Verse 11. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. David had many sons. He had eight many wives. children. He had eight wives. His fourth wife was Haggith, his favorite wife. She gave birth to Nathan. It is through Nathan, the fruit of David's body, that the Christ bloodline comes. Not through the evil Solomon, who was the product of adultery with the adulteress Bathsheba and resulted in David murdering Bathsheba's husband by sending him to the front line knowing he would be killed in battle. So the distance to my home with Mary Magdalene on Nell Street, Greensboro, Victoria is significant as the moon being a full moon and kings were traditionally associated with a full moon and birth recorded even if it were out by days. The Nell Street being on a latitude, so this is 150 Nell Street, on a latitude of 31,680 kilometres around the Earth and 5,813 kilometres from the South Pole is a key to the genetic miracles of her children and mine. Michelle Sheila Nye, who was Mary Magdalene, reborn March 19th, 1947. The distance to that home from the moon, January the 11th, 1944 at 2.22am, is a nail. The distance was 3489.5 nautical miles, and it is the number for a nail. It is perhaps one of the most important prophecies of Isaiah, as it is the end. Isaiah 22.22, 22, my weight in pounds, 222. Reading Isaiah 22, 22, And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. Verse 23, And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. And they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the issue, all vessels of small quantity, from the vessels of cups even to all the vessels of flagons. So it's small and great. Mm -hmm. Here is the sun, the night side of the earth, 22 Point zero seven degrees north by 147.32 degrees east. The reason, east. The viewer, the reason I put the sun that appears to be on the this side of the earth, take the sun and project through the earth, and that's the sun in the distance. Right. Through the earth, it would be shining on the other side. On the other side, the right. side. right. Okay, like looking through a... Yeah. So it's a bit of a hard thing to get your mind around when you aren't really familiar uh, with astronomy and how you measure things, etc., but it is so precise. This is why I do it now. This is very, very important. That I said to you this morning when you're trying to hurry me along, I said, "Look, I don't miss opportunities. I will put every detail in there, and I'll go on for days till I nail it down." Right? And this is why I said to you, uh, "I won't be hurried." Right. And this is what I did after. Exactly yes, this is exactly up. what came up. <laughs> I'm saying, "Got to hurry." See, we, it, it, it's the Twitter. Because you go through as many as you can, you hit it, hit, 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 close them, get on to more. And so it's that speed. <laughs> Joel, Joel's called the, the Twitter head. Apparently it's a condition. <laughs> I don't read anybody's posts it's about getting the information out. The second coming announced by Twitter. <laughs> All right, so the, the, the sun night side of the earth to the maternity ward. <laughs> 
measured. Now, this, for those who are familiar with this work, just listen very closely. You know these numbers. The maternity ward now is 3875, which is comforter in Greek, but to my birth home is 3877 miles. So the numbers are reversed. When we measure from the South Pole to the maternity ward is 3877 miles and 3875 miles to the rebirth house. And of course, 3877 is the number of verses that contain the word God. And 3875 is the number for comforter in the Greek. And explaining again the night side of the earth, its location, we fire a laser from the sun to the earth, it, it passes through to exit above Australia, and from there, this is what it would look like if we were hovering over the sun, looking back at the earth. Now 31680 feet is half a mile. 3168 in Gematria for Lord Jesus Christ. 3168 Gematria. Hebrew, the names of the 12 patriarchs. Jacob's sons combined. 3168 inches is the perimeter combined the holy and most holy rooms of Solomon's temple. 31680 feet perimeter of the millennial city, Ezekiel's vision. So these, these are all examples of 3168 in different measurements, etc. 316800 inches, perimeter of New Jerusalem, cities of refuge, and 316800 feet, it's the perimeter of New Jerusalem. 316.8 feet is the mean circumference of the Sarsen Circle at Stonehenge. 316.8 feet is perimeter square drawn on the bluestone circle Stonehenge. So it goes on and on. Okay, 316.8 yards is the circumference of the inner face of the inner bank at Stonehenge. 3168 inches is one side of a square with the same perimeter as outer face of the inner bank at Stonehenge. 3168 inches is the long side of station stone rectangle at Stonehenge. 3168 megalithic miles is the perimeter square drawn on the moon. 31680 furlongs is radius of the earth. 31680 miles is the perimeter square drawn on the earth. And again, 316800 megalithic miles is the diameter of the sun. <laughs> Hello. Do you think it's all about Lord Jesus Christ? <laughs> so back to the pyramid, we've got the um, height to the summit platform. 312, this is from the, yes, 312.77036 feet, 312 being the English the floor gematria. Of the pyramid to yeah. the King's Chamber. The King's Chamber. To the missing capstone, which that number is 454.574. Four, which is the number of weeks there are between the date of my mother marrying Rich and her conception of myself on the 6th of April 1943. But it's also the distance in time in years. <coughs> from the date that Pluto was deregistered as a planet mm. to Fukushima. Mm. Now, the Samson option that the Jews are on about is uh, that they have a nuclear device in every city. Well, in a way they have. They, a nuclear device can only be detonated at certain times of the day and uh, when the sun is in a particular position. So, they already know all that. Now, what the people of the earth have not known is that fact, but the Samson option is all to do with the detonation of the likes of Fukushima. Hmm. Now there's over 500 throughout the world in the Western world and they can detonate them all if they are allowed, as they are always the security people. In, the Israelis are always yeah. the security people as they was with the Twin Towers of 9-11. Now, they do have a small nuclear device that will work at any time. Now, 
that is what they use to detonate nuclear bombs. But they are quite small, they um, give off little radiation, but they are very devastating in a uh, small environment. Like the Bali bombing, that was John Howard was behind that with the CIA. Now John Howard is probably one of the most, most evil men that's ever lived. Now, uh, he's also behind the Port Arthur massacre. Now, he didn't do it himself, he just gave it the okay to go ahead to get the Australians in line to give up their weapons so they get a retarded boy in Port Arthur, Tasmania, to be purchasing a gun, hmm. who put in his mind to buy one, or did he at all, they just make hmm. it out that he did do hmm. it. He wasn't uh, a good shot at all, so hmm. he has no, no references of ever using a gun, right? but he happens to have bought one as mm. far as a record in the shop is concerned. And then 32 people were shot dead with men that were bald mm. firing from the hip. Mm. Right? Now I've done a bit of shooting in my time and firing from the hip is not an easy thing to do to shoot someone in the head at a distance. Mm. You have to be an expert mm. and a retarded boy couldn't do it. Now that hit that boy is still in in the locked up. And what he was threatened with is if he didn't admit to it, his mother and sister would be uh, put in jail. Mm. So being a retarded boy, he probably had an intelligence for about seven year old. They, they terrified him. Mm. He was 27 years old at the time. So this is all to do with John Howard, lovely man. Mm. I'd love to see him hanging on the end of a rope. Oh yes, right. soon, very soon. soon. Yeah. Very, very soon. There's a close up of it. I better check the time to see what's going on. Keep going. So we have Greek the fifteen twenty one number. Now that is to lead into the river of paradise. That's what that's all about. But it's also a line across. If you take that as a latitude, fifteen twenty one and seventeen twenty seven, they are latitudes across India. Now this is where all these prophecies started in India. So uh, I haven't got it on this particular PowerPoint presentation, but I have had uploaded in the past. It's out there somewhere. And we'll do it again. And uh, we'll show you how India fits all into it. And I think the word India is uh, 1912. Mm, it is. Right? So that lines up with Revelation 1912, which is? Which is the year that you were, your mother was reborn to the right. earth. October the 11th, so 10-11, 1912. So when we're in Egypt, we want to go into the Queen's Chamber and it costs $2,000 USD into it. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Isn't there something about overturning the tables in the yes. temple, the money changers? The money chamber is in the temple. Putting Egyptians in charge of antiquities is like putting uh, a fox in, front, in charge of chicken because they're controlled by the Jews, right? Hmm. right next slide. Oh, we're back to yesterday's... Um... This is the distance to the... From measuring from Jupiter, because Jupiter is the Jesus planet, to all of the, to the Sun, to Venus, Mercury, Earth, Mars and Saturn, gives you a total of 31.68 astronomical units. But you see, if you measure Mercury, uh, which is what, 6.5, is it? 5, is it? 5.04. 5.04. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A bit far away from me. Mars and Saturn add them together and you get 16.94, which is Emmanuel, God with us. Matthew, Matthew one twenty three, and here we are again, back to the shroud of Turin, and the photograph taken in her garden, Egypt. Right. Thank you, Chuka. <laughs> Amazing. So you have to look at it carefully to see which ones are which: the old or the new. Hmm. And uh, the spear being in the left side is what it's supposed to be. And the reason for that is that the soul left in the blood as it poured out from the cross. So when the blood was poured out, that paid for the sin, the ransom, because their idiot God, of Moses, couldn't see the sin through the blood mm. of the lamb on the cross. This is how stupid they are. Mm. Now... As the soul left from the cross, <clears throat> when it returned into the tomb, it passed through 
backwards from the outside of the shroud. Mm. So they're looking into thinking the shroud image is on the inside against the body. It wasn't. It's on the outside, draped over the body, and where the image came through, the soul came through, it comes in backwards because it left the body forward. So therefore it comes back in backwards mm. and the spear is on the left side. Through the heart. I've told all the people who were researching the, like uh, Barry Schwartz, for example. Mm. He goes Experts. on about it. He's an expert on oh, it. Oh, he's a As Jew. As we are of the I chosen Jew. race, he says, mm. always, always pushing home the idea that they are the Jews and they are the chosen ones. He doesn't listen to a word I tell him, however. Mm. So, he's out of there, too. I looked for him on uh, Twitter yesterday. Didn't come up with a <laughs> tweet address. <laughs> but you did get um, um, the traitor himself, didn't you? Yes. George Ganswain. George Gadden Swain. The traitor. Of all mankind. Of all mankind. All right. That's the end of show 45.